Dr. Georgia Witkin, and today we're talking about dealing with stress. Not just the stress of the pandemic reports and the stress of the daily life changes, but I mean all of our stresses too. It could be a job change, it could be working from home, it could be making three meals a day for the first time in a really long time. And on top of that, homeschooling. On top of that, postponed IVF or family illness. You get the idea. And of course, this is not the time. I'm sure that you're thinking a lot about relaxation. But unfortunately, when we're under stress, what happens is that our emergency system of adrenaline increases. And soon we have so much adrenaline, we're dealing with the side effects of adrenaline in addition to the stress. And those effects include our brain on alert, which makes it impossible to sleep, our body on alert, which makes us very jittery, and using up all of our serotonin, the brain hormone that gives us stability and calmness just when we need it the most. So here's my prescription. It's relaxation. But how do you make it happen? Here are two ways. First, find moments during the day to pause. Pockets of peace. They don't have to be more than five minutes long, but you have to be in the here and now, not reliving, not pre-living, and anything that makes you happy works. You can take a long shower. You can listen to music slower than your heartbeat. You can take a minute, come backwards from 60, and just breathe out and in and picture your breath, your favorite color, so soon you're floating in the mist of that color. You can water a plant. You can listen to a book. Herb Benson at Harvard found that just 20 minutes a day of pausing like this is enough to reduce stress symptoms by 50%. So four times a day, pause for five minutes and you'll be achieving your goal. And the second way, laughter. Did you know that laughing relaxes your muscles, lowers your blood pressure, stimulates the creative side of your brain rather than the anxiety side of your brain, brings up your endorphins, which increases optimism and does it all naturally. It's an inborn gift. It's a stress reducer. So when you're getting memes and you're getting cartoons and you're passing them along, you are really helping to save your psychological life. If you are sequestered with others, help them play, help with games, find magic tricks to learn on the internet, take a virtual tour together, laughter, play. You don't have to be a child to do it. It's there naturally. If you're alone, do it online. I'm not saying that you have to pause and play and relax and put yourself in front of everybody else you love. What I'm saying is include yourself on your list of loved ones so you can last for the long run. And if you can't give yourself permission to do it, I give you permission. Please stay safe and stay well.